Volatility is a key driver of option valuation. There are complicated formulas for measuring realized volatility. There are complicated formulas for forecasting volatility. And there are complicated formulas for calculating implied volatility. But what is volatility? In simple terms, volatility is the bounciness of the underlying asset of an option. To explain by example, let's look at temperature changes that may occur in different parts of the world. In Singapore, the temperature swings over the course of a year only vary by 15 degrees from the coldest temperature to the hottest. In Bismarck, North Dakota, those same temperature swings can be as much as 80 degrees. You can see the temperature volatility is much greater in Bismarck than in Singapore. Another example could be natural gas prices compared to corn prices. Even though corn and natural gas are very different assets, the bounciness of their respective prices can be compared. If we look at example price changes in percentage terms for natural gas versus corn, we see the natural gas price change, whether up or down, is larger than the corn price change. Therefore, natural gas is bouncier than corn. Volatility as a measure of bounciness is simply a standard deviation of the underlying asset. In the option world, volatility is quoted as an annualized number. You can calculate a one-year, one-standard deviation move by taking the volatility times the underlying price. For example, if the underlying price was 100 and the volatility was 20%, a one-standard deviation move would be 20 points up or down. This would create an expected price range of 80 to 120. If you have a different time horizon, we can calculate that as well by adjusting the volatility by using the square root of time. For a one-month period, the standard deviation would be 20% times the square root of 1 12th. The square root of 1 12th is 0.289. Therefore, the range from an initial price of 100 would be 94.2 to 105.8 in one month. For a one-week period, the standard deviation would be 20% times the square root of 1 52nd. A one standard deviation range for a week would be 97.2 to 102.8. To recap, you have seen the bounciness of an asset is referred to as the standard deviation. In the options world, that standard deviation is always annualized and it is called volatility. You have also seen how standard deviation can be scaled to different time periods. We have demonstrated simply how you can compare the bounciness or volatility of different underlying assets by annualizing the standard deviation of those assets.